Good afternoon, everyone. This is Jennifer here at Startup Chile in, in Santiago. Okay, okay, great. Thank you for sending in the comments that everyone hears me. This is the first time that we're doing this um, webinar conference, so I wanted to just, if anyone can't hear me or has a question throughout, um, we're, I'm reading the, your your input, your send your um, whatever your questions are. There's a there's a small box that pops up at the bottom. So please bear with me again because it's our it's our first um, it's our first webinar, and we want to test basically more than anything. We want to test to make sure that this is an appropriate. Um, platform to, to use in order to communicate better with all of our advocates around the world. Um, um, is there anyone that has any questions before we, before we begin? No, I don't see any questions. But I don't know if that means that nobody's asking questions. <laughs> anyway, I see that there are about um, 10 to 15 participants. And um, so here we go. Let's get started. Um, just, I'm going to go through quickly. I only want to take up 20 minutes of your time to explain quickly what we've organized so far. Um, basically, we put together a quick presentation about um, about what Startup Chile is and what being an advocate means, and how very important our advocate network will be in building um, in building this and in bringing um, the absolute right contestants or participants that, that are in our program. Um, let's go to, to the, let's start the presentation. So basically what we'll cover in this, in this conversation, what is Startup Chile? I think all of you know that by now, it's pretty clear that you wouldn't be here today, you wouldn't be in this um, conversation if you didn't know what it is, but just to give you a brief overview once again, what is an advocate? Um, how did we come up with the term advocate? Who's included in our team as an advocate? And where are you in the world? Why do we need someone like you um, in order to participate in this program? We believe that if uh, that the advocate program, we absolutely ne we need all of the people in place in order to make this a success. How you can support us, how you support us, and then how we support you and what we think why you think you'd want to participate, because it's a 100% it's a voluntary program, but we want to expose to you what could be some of the benefits um, for you all to participate. Um, how, how to apply, what's the, what's the setup that we have um, established for how you are able to join into a LinkedIn network and share your network, um, and what's the process to apply, um, and then how the advocate team is organized. So that's all I wanted to talk about. Anyone has any questions? Again, please, um, please feel free to, to type them in, and I can, and I can answer them as I go along. I really want to keep this um, more than a presentation. I hope that it's more of an open dialogue because, again, what we're really looking for is um, participation in this dialogue, and that any anything that occurs to you or comes to mind, we're, we're recording this presentation, and we'll also record all of the questions or thoughts or anything that you have that you want to include as I'm talking would be really useful. Um, and a good use of your time. Um, so basically, what is Startup Chile? Um, I think all of you know by now that it's a it's a government program um, by the Chilean government, the the Ministerio de Economía. We are um, we have a program that's looking to attract 1,000 international entrepreneurs to Chile um, by the year 2014. Um, we're hopefully looking for entrepreneurs with a disruptive idea and that it's technology related. Um, that the winners receive a forty thousand dollar grant per project, and it's and a six and a and a six month stay, and they get a year a year long working visa. So this is the information that everybody needs to have, kind of in their back pocket, to say this is the program, this is what we're doing, this is what the government wants to do, and this is who we want to attract. The other important thing to keep in mind are the numbers that will be um, that are ideal. Um, entry is that we get we're staggering the application process so we've just opened for example this week um, an application process and we're hoping to attract 100 new entrepreneurs by June or July of this year we'll open again in July another um, application process and then again at the end of the year so we're looking to attract and in order to select up to 100 participants each participation round we need, we believe, anywhere from 1,000 to 5,000. What we want is the biggest number of potential applicants at every application round so that we can, that we can select from the best and the brightest. Um, and the program that's, a, that's um, it's the people that are going to fit the program the best. 
as we go along and continue to get additional um, applicants and we continue to get additional examples of people who are working, who are incubating here in Chile, I think we can more finely tune what's going to be, what works, what's the best thing that works in line um, with entrepreneurs coming to Chile. Um, let's see. So the next, um, next slide is what is an advocate? Um, I think we've been, I think Florencia's done a great job in talking to each and every one of you personally and, and giving you some background and information on, on what is an advocate. An advocate is basically the definition is someone who speaks on behalf of another person. It's a legal term, um, but basically we want, um, in, the, in our case, an advocate is somebody, it's a Chilean or another foreigner who's familiar with Chile and has information to promote about Chile or about the program, um, and it's someone that, that speaks on our behalf. Um, there are various la layers um, of how advocates can, co can participate with, with Startup Chile, and that's what we'll, that's what we'll talk about next. Um, but basically, the, the overall concept is that we want to be able to have an interspersed and very far-reaching network throughout the world in as many countries as we possibly can. Um, so what we try to do is, if either if you're a Chilean living abroad or you know of someone who's, who's visited Chile or who loves Chile for another reason and lives in a foreign country and would be interested in helping us to spread the word about this program, that's specifically what we're looking for, is that kind of profile of a person. Um, the profile is also typically someone who is in a university or is connected to a university network someone who is an entrepreneur or connected to entrepreneurial networks. So we're looking for people specifically with um, university background who are studying abroad and also that have a connection to innovation and entrepreneurial networks. What do we need from advocates like you? Um, we believe in, in this case that, and what we've been getting, what we've been seeing is that the people who are, um, the people who are participating um, um, right now are, are, are sending in lots of information about here's how we want to participate and here's what I think and here's what I can do and here's what there have been a lot of people who are coming up with good ideas and, and looking for ways to, um, to help us and creative ways to say hey let's, um, let's do it this way or I can provide this or what do you think um, so we want um, that's kind of the group that we're looking for, people that are, that are throughout the world and who are interested in helping us spread the word more than anything. We'll have, again, we have, since we have three application rounds this year, and the following two years we'll have four application rounds. So basically the, the ebb and flow of what we'll need from everyone is going to depend on our timing. Obviously we'll need help as soon as every application round opens in order to get the word out, in order that people are aware of deadlines. Um, within their university networks, within their entrepreneurship networks, within their VC networks, whatever it is that's related to this program, um, we, need, we need help in those four rounds, obviously. And then every other time we're doing, a, for example, and I'll talk a little bit more about this in a minute, but we're doing a road show to California starting next week. Nicolas Shea will be traveling to California to speak to six different universities. And in each university, there are, there's an advocate network that's in place and that's been helping us to set up meetings and recruit students and identify room locations and you know, contract with caterers. I mean, they've done it all. And to be honest, we couldn't do such an event without the help of our advocate network. So I wanted to explain a little bit about how it will expand and contract the expectation um, that we have of our advocate team. Um, that it's not, there's some people who are really motivated and other people who can't commit to something more than, you know, I don't pass the information along. And in, in either case, it's a, it's a, um, it's a good support for our, for our network. Um, yeah, that's okay, next slide. So again, um, to talk a little bit more about how you can support us, and I think these are, and anyone is welcome at this point to send in additional suggestions, but how we think that you can support us is again in varying degrees of support, forwarding our promotional material. Every week we're changing our message and, and, and making it, tweaking it and fine tuning it and making sure that it has the exact right message that we want to send and how does it, how do we in, in a few short message, in a few short words get across the idea of this initiative, what it means for Chile, what it means for entrepreneurs who are willing to come to Chile. 
um, how much money they get, how long of a visa it is, and how innovative this program is. So we're really all the time changing that message so that it's very fine-tuned and it's exactly targeted to the groups that we're looking for. So anytime you check back in to our offices, there's a new promo, there's something new on our blog, there's something new that we're tweeting about, there's some new information that's coming through that we incorporate into our, um, into our commu internal communications, and that of course affects our marketing material, and so that's kind of always being updated and changing just so that we can incorporate everything um, that, that comes our way, that comes that's, that's pertinent and the, the necessary information to the program. Um, another way that we can we think of that you can support us is that I think what we realized when we sent um, Diego Alcaino, who was the person in my place um, doing the outreach prior, you know, as of last month, he went on a road show to California and he stayed living there for three months and started actually this big um, this idea of having an advocate network and having people in place. And I think the other thing that I learned is that when I talk to the entrepreneurs, we have a, we have a, I think as you know, a pilot group of 23 teams of entrepreneurs here. And I would say at least half of them, when they, they heard about the program from someone or they had read it on TechCrunch or they knew that it was out there, they knew it was a, a possibility that they apply and they had thought about it, they had bookmarked it. And then Diego came along, and somehow Diego met with them and convinced them. It was like it was the it was the one thing they needed to hear. There was a person, a physical person, who was representing the program, and um, and and he was able to convey this message. And right after they talked to him, they they signed up, they went and they applied. Um, so again, I think the the personal contact is key, is essential. And we're asking, um, I think we, we try to, we understand that a lot of you have given feedback that, well, you know, maybe I'm super busy, I'm a student, or I'm a I have a job, and I'm, I'm a professor, and I'm a writer, and I have a family, and I can give you maybe an hour or two maximum per week. And again, I think that's great, and we'll take whatever help we can get, but I think, again, it's going to, the, the, the flow of the work is going to depend on, on different people in different places at different times, depending on what the outreach is for that, you know, what the marketing plan is for that particular semester within the year. Um, but we think that if you could, if you could um, tell us that you could meet with three people that Florencia put together, you know, do the math, that if you could put your, you know, if you could give your personal touch and talk to three people that you know that are interested in the program. You know, if we have 49 subscribed advocates for three candidates for four weeks, we can reach out to you know something like 600 entrepreneurs. And we think that that kind of physical contact is going to convert into a higher rate of applications. Um, so that's why we think three is kind of a magic number. Obviously, if you know one person only and you talk to that one person, amazing, excellent, thank you. But I think um, if each person could commit to... to um, to three people, and we will do our part to keep you well informed throughout the year, to give you any information, updates, or or whatever it is that you need to have access and go, or presentations, whatever it is you need. We have a team here, people who are willing to say, "Hey, we're gonna we're gonna work on your behalf, and we'll help you, and we'll do a presentation for you." And and by the way, did you know that you're in this advocate network, and you live in London? And did you know that there are five other people living in London who are just like you? And Maybe you could get, get together and do a meetup or there's some other kind of event. And do, you know, there's lots of creative ways that you can build on um, the other people that are in your network, that are in your same region of the world, to, to build together with them. Um, and basically, in terms of who we're wanting to expand our network to, it's um, universities, foreign governments, other entrepreneurship and innovation clubs. Those we see as our kind of three... Um, contacts and the three drivers who are going to be able to find the applicants um, that we think are are perfect for our program. What's in it for you? I think we've done we've um, we've gone around and around about how we see what's in it for you. We under I mean you understanding that it's a completely voluntary program and that we're asking you to participate and sometimes it'll it will require a lot of work depending on the week sometimes it'll just be forwarding messages but but that you remain an active advocate and then and that you do it for free and we wanted we talked a lot about what's in it for you and what do we see as um as some of the the primary examples of of um, direct you know that you're getting a, a direct um, benefit from participating in the program 
um, that you having a, a for, for for those of you that are Chileno and living abroad or studying abroad, and you're thinking about coming back to Chile someday, this is an incredible way we believe for you to maintain a permanent and very active connection with the entrepreneurial environment. That's something that we hope to affect change in, and we hope to help grow, and that we're doing. You know, all the time we have another team that, that's here, that's in place, that's working on building local national networks, that's lo looking to bring, you know, a, a venture capital network, that's looking to bring venture capital training, that's looking to find, okay, who are the who are the traditional national investors and how do we make them understand the importance of investing in startups and what is a start and creating this incredible environment and buzz and everybody that's around here that's on this team is working really hard to make sure that if we're capable of bringing a thousand entrepreneurs that the impact that those thousand have is tenfold and that impacts the entire um, environment here in Tulane. So we think that it's a it's a great way for you to maintain contact and you to, to for you to understand because it's difficult for you to understand the growth and the change that's happening and in Chile, I've lived here for seven years and I've seen unbelievable growth within those within the past five. And I think the same is true for you as a Chilean. You come back and you're like, wow, I can't believe how much has changed. This is an excellent way for you to stay connected to that network and understand the change and have um, and have why is this board? I have to go. Oh. Um, so be a change agent that creates a global mindset in Chile, that we want you to be talking in your networks and in the, in the wherever foreign country that you're living in and explain the change that's, um, that'll, that's happening for you, that, that the, the change that you can affect that's, that'll happen here in Chile. Um, the participating entrepreneurs developing in your area. So if, if there are entrepreneurs, for example, that are part of the teams that are applicants that come to start here and they're developing something that's maybe in tourism or that's maybe in computer science or that's maybe in education or that, who knows. That there's so many different teams and so many different entrepreneurial ideas out there that who knows for you how that's going to affect your particular industry. So say, for example, you're in... Stanford and you're studying engineering and you know one of the participants actually comes and makes a groundbreaking decision and it changes everything changes the game plan and changes how things are done you are part of that change in your understanding via our information what exactly are they working on how is this changing um, and how can I be a part of it you know from here from there or, or what is it what is my what is my participation um, we also believe that since things are changing and this program is encouraging things to change at a faster pace, that you're, um, it's, it's to your advantage to get in early. That the, the, you know, the longer you're in and the longer you're helping, the longer you are connected and therefore understanding you know, how exponentially things are going to change and grow. We think too that it's a good conversation starter. Um, you're at a cocktail party and you're talking to people yeah, I'm a student and I'm doing this but you know what else that I'm an, I'm an advocate for this program and this is what we're doing and and if you can what I also want to do and, and get feedback from you is how can I deliver information to you to let you know how exciting this actually is on the ground here that things are changing the day-to-day -day things and things that we learn and that can be applied from the people who are participating the things that are, the presentations that they make and the, and the potential of the growth that this program will make is just phenomenal. So the other thing that we want to commit to from this end is to communicate how excited we are, how exciting it is to be a part of this kind of network and setup and, and, and change and growth. And, that, and that's something that you can also use. And it's, it's um, that kind of content, I find, is, it's that, or that enthusiasm that we have is, is, um, is contagious, that, that, um, that everyone starts to talk about it, and, and the more people talk about it, hey, did you hear about this cool thing that they're doing in Chile? It's a very innovative, a very unique program for government to do, and that's something we absolutely want everybody to share and share with enthusiasm. So please let me know now, we can type in, or, you know, later, that, um, how can we help you to do that? Um, the... The opportunity, the other, the other thing that we want is to, that, to be aware of is that if we now today have some almost 50 people who have signed up to be an advocate, we believe that, okay, so we're asking to be part of your network by, by asking you to sign in and, and include your information from LinkedIn, that we want to be able to access through you, through your networks, so that we can disseminate this information. But at the same time, what we want people to realize is that this connects you to everybody else's network. So if you're 50 and it's within a closed network, 
you're suddenly connected to every all the other 50 people who have the same objective and that's also this really powerful engine that's it's good for you and it's good for us the information that you should share and know and again this gets updated and changed on a constant basis but that in December of 2010 there are 23 teams actually from all over the world working in the startup Chile headquarters um, and the range of industry they're all technology related and the range of industry is you know again like I said travel There's somebody else that's doing an interesting platform for um, in agriculture somebody that's doing something in education somebody that's doing something in advertising so there's a very wide range and you could pick any industry segment and it's covered um, and then it's all technologically related. So there's a $40,000 so $40, subsidy with no equity to participate for six months so that the commitment, I think sometimes we get a little pushback. For example, we're doing this roadshow in California and I contact universities and the universities tell me, well, um, I think you know that, that California is kind of in an economic slump and that if we're going to promote anything, it's to promote you know, entrepreneurship in California and that we attract and retain entrepreneurs right here. And I think, for example, overcoming such an objection is that it's $40,000 and it's only for six months, that there's no other commitment, that that team can come and build and hire and have a localized network here in Latin America, and that can be their platform to you know, sell into other parts of Latin America, but it doesn't mean that we're going to keep them forever. It doesn't mean that we'll keep the, you know, going to be a brain drain from California to Chile, that it's only six months and that we believe that that six months gives, this, gives these companies a runway to really add value before they go to their first round of financing. And that's what we're hearing, in fact. You know, the testimonials that we're hearing back from the, the current participants are like, look, this has been excellent and these are the reasons why. That any of the fears that I had before coming, not speaking the language, or that I'm not gonna, that the money's not a real, it's not a real offer, they're not gonna pay me back, I'm gonna get all the way down there and they're gonna, you know, they're gonna, it's just a, it's just a, it's a idea and it doesn't really work and I think those are some of the things that that people had some concerns about before coming and they're absolutely not true and everybody's really psyched that they have you know essentially free money in a foreign place that's very welcoming that's willing to you know hook them up at high levels with a great network to give them this time this extra time to just really plug away and change their product and have something solid to offer when they go for more financing um, again, access to the most potent social and capital network in the country. I think the other thing that I've heard from a lot of the participants, the, the pilot participants, is that, you know, we moved to California, or we thought we would move to California to try to get financing, and we were just yet, you know, one more fish looking for money, and then nobody wanted to hear our pitch or proposal. And they get to Chile, and suddenly they're meeting with the minister himself of economy, or the, you know, the president, or with... and. The, CEOs and top, you know, everybody from the top levels of all the investment funds, um, the, the team has done a really good job to build this network and to make sure that everybody who's part of the team uses that network. Um, so anyway, they're very surprised and very pleased and so the, the, the process that we're doing here on the ground has really helped them add value. Um, and that's it. And then, the, and then the final number is that we want to reach um, you know, 300 a year entrepreneurs and that we reach 1,000 entre entrepreneur teams by the year 2014. How can you apply to be an advocate? So we're reaching the end of the, of the presentation and basically we can send you some follow-up information about and links, um, but basically what we want you to do, and again, please participate or chime in if you think that there's a better way to do this, but what we have considered is that you would upload or ask for a request to the startup Chile group in LinkedIn. Um, and that way we have, an, we have the ability to see your profile and see your, um, your contact network and, and, then, and then we accept you into the group and then, and then you're in line to receive all of our newsletters and information. This allows us to be connected to you, but again, another benefit to you is that you're connected to all of the other, uh, you, you suddenly have this other contact network of everyone who's an advocate of the team. Um, and in the future, we're also considering that we would have an, somebody who's, an adv who's, a, who's a current advocate, if they're leaving the team, if they're moving back to Chile, they can, they're no longer living in a foreign country and able to, to, um, to advocate on our behalf outside of Chile. 
um, that they recommend somebody who can take their place. Another Chileno, or it can be a foreigner, or it can be, you know, we, in fact, we're even considering how do we reincorporate if and when the, the participants of the program now go back to their home country. We want, absolutely we want them to be a part of promoting this for the next three years. Um, so how do we reincorporate them, for example? But those are the, those are the, um, those are, that's how we're, that's how we're considering um, having people sign up. The other thing we'd ask you to do is um, send us your information, your name, and your phone number, and your email, and a little bit about um, your university or the network that you're connected to, so we can keep that in a in a Google document, a shared a shared but um, limited access Google document, so that we have all the information in one place. Um, that's it. I think that describes pretty well. I wanted to give you a little bit but more background on. Um, Again, I mentioned a couple of times that we're doing Roadshow in California, and here's the schedule um, of the universities that we'll be visiting. We're going to UCLA and USC on Tuesday. Monday's a holiday. Everybody's pretty excited about that, I guess, President's Day. Um, we've also managed to add an additional, just as of an hour ago, we've added um, Caltech to the schedule. So we're excited about that, to go to UCLA, Caltech in the middle of the day, and USC. Um, on Wednesday afternoon, we'll be speaking at UC Davis. On Thursday at Stanford, all day. We've um, blanketed Stanford engineering, construction, MBA, Sloan MBAs, um, undergraduate business student, I mean, undergraduate anything student, anybody who's part of a, a business competition or an entrepreneurship or innovation club, we're using Thursday to really blanket Stanford. Um, and Friday, we'll be participating in a, in a Latin American forum at Berkeley. Um, and finally, at the end of the day, at UCSF. The UCSF has a... Um, has a QB3, which is a garage that, um, like an entrepreneurship garage that incubates um, medical and scientific related um, applications. So we'll also be going, trying to capture, trying to explain our program to those people as well. Um, and this is an example of, um, of where, we, where we would need some participation from advocates and where it's critical and absolutely could not have done um, we could not have set up this roadshow, and I mean, we set it up in two weeks, and we've been able to reach. I don't know how many people. It's because we have advocates who are on the inside, who are helping us um, promote from within. So at UCLA and at USC, and there's been advocates across the board who said, you know what, I'm going to take this and I'm going to run with it. And they just, you know, they take the information and they set up. They find a room. They found the room for free. They called the caterers. They said, do you want a lunch time? Do you want a coffee time? Do you want to? Here's how you can meet the most amount of people, and they use their own personal networks to, to promote, and they're also using the school networks. They, they're dealing with directly with their professors um, to really get the word out and to reach as many people as this could be as possible who, to whom it's potentially interesting. So any of you that are out there that are listening, I really appreciate your help on the roadshow. Couldn't have done it without you. Um, another example of an advocate that's in that's in Boston who said, you know, he contacted us. I'm Chilean. I'm at Babson College, um, and I'm studying here. And I there's an opportunity for me to speak on a Latin American panel. I'm so excited. I can't believe that Chile is finally doing this initiative, and I want to participate. And I want to share what it is that we're doing. Is one example. And so he's asked us for material to um, to to go and present at a panel in Boston. Another example is at Stanford University that I just mentioned, um, that Juan Andres has been instrumental in, in just, I sent him a list, like, here are all of our ideas of who we could potentially invite at Stanford, and can you please help me figure a way to reach all these people? And he said, sure, no problem. He, between him and another person, they divided the list, and they blanketed, and, and now we have, you know, we have three presentations set up because of them because of students. I mean, we have a board of directors, an advisory board with people also at Stanford who have also been instrumental in helping and assisting and guiding. But the, but the student advocates have really done all the groundwork. And again, you know, just because they've been asked to and they've willingly done it for free and happily and, and again, willingly, willingly promote the program. So I'm really excited about that. And these are just, again, these are again at UC Berkeley. Um, Nicolas was invited to participate in a panel about Latin America, about you know, economics in Latin America, and again, we have we have a stand outside after the, afterwards, and we can promote the program further to anyone who's interested. But these are the small little things, the small details that, as advocates, have made all the difference for us to have this team in place. Um, 
I wanted to, this is another example of an advocate of some other part of a team that we're interested in incorporating that that to Jarvis is a professor at um, UC Davis who is also part of promoting this roadshow and he'll be present during Nicolás's presentation at Davis but that he's been, his wife is Chilena for example and he's been um, promoting Chile for you know the last 20 years that he is promoting the relationship between UC Davis and Chile. So I'm just trying to give you an example of the of the variety of, of people that we can have be participating in this program and who it is that you'll have access to as well. Um, these are some examples we had a, and, and, and initially we had thought, um, oh, you know what, we're only going to use Chilenos who are studying El Extranjero. They're the ones who get it, they're the ones who want to promote Chile, why would anyone else do it for free? And I think it would be wrong to not include other foreigners who are just as excited about Chile. And in fact, a testimonial coming from a foreigner who's not from here, who's so excited about what the government is doing and about what we're doing and about what Startup Chile is all about, um, wrote an email to his entire contact network and put it on his, you know, put it on his website. And he's a foreigner who's been traveling throughout Latin America, and he's looking for, um, he's studying Spanish, and he's interested in understanding what are the innovation bases here in Latin America, and, and how is it that I can participate if I'm a business, and I want to understand how to do business in Latin America. So he's been here for six months. He spent some time in um, in Costa Rica and in Argentina. And he had this to say about Chile, and all of us were just completely floored. A list of ten things, you know, just keep it short and simple, but off the top of my head, here are ten things about why Chile is um, is a great place to be right now, a great place to invest, a great, it's safe, it's, it's um, clean, it's transparent, it's wealthy, it's like, it's a great city comparable to any other great city in the world. Um, just for example, so I think that's also when we consider um, when we consider um, don't point those out <laughs> and we consider who we want to include in our advocate um, network um, that's that's where it's coming from that's what we're, that's what we're thinking and that's why we want to include also non Chileans. Um, here's our advocate page that's incomplete on our website. We hope to, with your feedback, um, complete this by next week and have it uploaded so that it's very clear, it's very defined, who's responsible for what, how you apply, who recommends you, um, and make it a very easy, transparent process where you upload all the information on the website and via the website you'll be connected to the Google document and to LinkedIn and to... So we want to make it as easy as possible to just, you know, we send you a link, you type in your information, and you're in. And then wherever we're doing an event, or we have information, or we need to disperse information in a quick way, we have access to you um, as an advocate. And that's it. That's the end. Um, can you download the presentation to your computer? Yes, you can download this presentation and keep it, um, um, save it on your computer and um, take a look at it again. And if anything occurs to you when you look at it a second time, I think it's a, there's a lot of information and it's in pretty small print. So if you want to take a look at it again, you absolutely can download it from here and keep it with you. Um, information about me, sorry, my name is Jennifer Ricks, I'm a, an American living in Chile and I'm married to Chileno, I've been here for seven years. I just started with the Startup Chile team about a month ago and um, I'm really excited about, about all the, everybody, everything that's happening. I'm doing, um, my role is to do, is to promote international business development, so to promote and get the word out to everybody who's outside Chile, so how do we, how will we go about identifying um, the foreign applicants that we're looking to attract. Are there any other questions as we wrap up? I know it's a Friday afternoon. I don't want to keep anyone much longer. I told you 20 minutes and it's been 35, so I'm way over time. So if anyone else has any questions, I'm happy to answer, but otherwise we'll, we'll close here. Thank you all very much for participating. I'm going to close it here. I don't see any more questions. So thanks again. And again, um, I'm Jennifer at Startup Chile. Punto org is my um, is my email address. If anyone has any additional questions or comments, or but again, please know that we'll be um, we will be condensing all of this material and uploading it to the website sometime next week. Thank you, Alex. I just saw your comment. Great. I'm excited. 
please tell everybody in San Diego to apply because it's open. It's open for three more weeks. We, we have 25 applications so far, just by the way, I think I mentioned that. 25 applications in the pipeline, and we need many, many more. So please, everybody, get to work. <laughs> Thanks again. Have a nice afternoon.